to this. He is taking gold from here and selling it where? Egypt. In Egypt. Very good. How much, whatever amount he's, he's, he's agreeing on with Jene over there in Egypt. And he's going, but the gold is where? Here. here. The, the Jene is where? In Egypt. And he's going to sell it where? In Egypt. Okay. Bring me a low, bring me 20 pounds of gold. How much such and such and such Jene? Deal is done? Deal is done. Is that transaction valid? Islamically. Huh? Oh. But it's gold with paper money. It's not the same. In the same place. Hand to hand. So here the scholar, they said, they could make a, an agreement in general, like what we say, when Muslimun عند شروطهم. The Muslims, they should supposed to stick of what they have agreed on. So they will have a general agreement, but the real transactions it will be when he bring the gold there. This is the gold. Give me the money. Now it will be valid. If it's not done like that, it will be second type of riba called riba nasser. Riba and nasser. That's the name. Which riba nisa? Nisa is woman. No, riba nasser. <laughs> when it's Nasa, uh, <laughs> Nasa. See, the Fatha and the Kasra change the whole entire thing. Uh, it means you delaying it in another time, in another place, in another. That's Nasa. So that's called interest. And same thing, you're going to fail in interest. And the third type is called rebellion. Rebellion also, even if you are not going to a distance or delaying it after one month or two months, it's still to be hand. With that, yes. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to get it clarified. How did you say it is legalized or, or considerable halal in Islam? If the gold is here being sold in Egypt, how do we? How it do has we to be. It has to be there. Yani you too, the one who's buying, right. and the ones who's selling. Right. They have to have the. This one has to have the money, and this one has to have the gold, and they have to be in the same spot. So there is no time delay and no distance delay here. But what about the time they're making the transaction? Like they're, they're making an agreement. Let's say the gold was... It doesn't matter. That's the reason. The hadith it says, yad dan biyad. Yad dan biyad, hand to hand. That's the reason. This hadith is agreed upon in every single school of thought. You cannot do that. Our will be interest. And this type of interest called riba nasa. That's the second type of riba. And the third type of riba called riba liyad. Rebel yet it has to be hand to hand, hand to hand. And I remember, subhanAllah, in Tareem, where I am, and one time I went to the guy who exchanged the money. And subhanAllah, this, this town is all people, they know their deen very well, they studied. I mean, you could talk with somebody who's selling vegetables, he knows at least one book in Shafi'i school. And you think he, he's an ignorant person. I went to the ex to exchange money, I gave him at that time, I want to exchange like $500 for rent and stuff. And I gave $500. He looked, he doesn't have the money to exchange. He said, I have the money. I'm going to go outside and go to, this, to, to his branch. Like it's like one, like a couple of uh, stores at the other side. <clears throat> I said, OK, no problem. He gave me the money back. I said, I know what I'm doing, but I want to check him. He knows what he's doing or not. I said, why are you giving me the money back? It's okay, I trust you. He said, Sheikh, it's rebel yet. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Alhamdulillah, you know what you're doing, good. So he went, he got the money, then he came, he said, okay, give me, and I'm giving you. Done. That's the third types of riba. Alhamdulillah, so now in general we understood what items and how to make measurements on them so those items and what's the family from those items and now we knew what types of riba we have i'm trying to summarize there's a lot of things related but it's those are the main the main points so we could understand the the, the subjects yes how about for online buying what's that like online you buy gold and silver if you buy things on the internet no online 
gold with gold, or gold with, uh, with money. We said this is, it has the same, the same what? Value. Value. It has to be given. Same place. Same place, hand to hand. With the money exchange, same thing. That's called interest. And this type of interest is not riba al-fadl. It's called riba and less How do we apply this law into today's world? Now we're in a global village. It's okay. You could, you could give the description of uh, the items you have on internet. And they agree on that and look and everything and this and this and this and this and this. You could do bay al arabun for instance. It's not valid according to Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Malik and Imam uh, Shafi'i, but it's valid according to Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal. You put a deposit, and then you take the shipment, and you go with the shipment. You give the shipment, and you take your money. After you give the shipment, you take your money, and you go deposit your money in the bank, and you transfer the money to the other account. That's fine. To the, the other account. You could. It could be. And I'm telling you, there is... The banks like Dubai Islamic banks, like uh, Abu Dhabi Islamic banks, like uh, other banks in Saudi Arabia, all those, they are doing the transactions in all halal 100%. All halal 100%. Here I'm not advertising for any banks or anything, but the point is because there are so many outside names, so many different names. I want you to understand the subjects tonight. So. You will know the answer if it's halal or haram, it doesn't matter what the name, because now I'm sure there is questions, you know, well, this company and that company and that this and that bank and this bank. I'm not, I'm not going to go study all that fine print and what they wrote and what this tricky stuff here and there. You understand the rules and then you apply yourself to it. Yes? Uh, Sheikh, one question. When you go to exchange money, the money exchangers, they have different rates. If you are giving them dollars to get rupees back, or instead of you're giving them rupees to get dollars. There are two different rates. Mm -hmm. uh, so is that fine for them to... That's fine, absolutely. Two different transactions, and we're gonna come to that. <coughs> we're gonna come to that, not just gold, and gold, and, and, and rates with other things also. It could be fine, no it's problem. The same, it's the same dollar to rupee? Uh, it's, it, no, it's not the same dollar with the same dollar. It's, it's a dollar with rupees. Dollar, right? So <laughs> it's up to him. This is my money. I'm going to put it in a different rate. Do you like it? Buy it. You don't like it? You don't buy it. Right? This is a car. I have a car. I want to sell $20,000. You like it? I buy it. You don't like it? It's okay. Do you go to find another one? It's my, my car. I have whatever I want with it. But I don't have cash money. I want it with $30,000. I want it with the, uh, give you money. But okay, it's $30,000. You like it? You like the surprise? You like it? It's another agreement. It's another agreement. It doesn't have the first agreement to do with anything. We're going to come to that anyways. We don't want to jump to understand the subjects, guys, little by little. So you, all your questions will be answered without even asking them. Because you have to understand. So you could rule yourself. <laughs> uh, how many types of transactions by, uh, according to buying and selling? You're going to fail in different four types of transactions. No more than those four. The first one, we call it al bayul mutlaq The normal, regular sale. The normal, regular transactions. Which is, you go to the market, how much is this? 50 cents, this is 50 cents, you take it. This is what we call it, normal. Normal buying and selling, normal transactions. You go, how much this uh, share? $20. Okay, $20, that's a share. And even being known without all this talking now, you look at the tag, it has $20. You go to the cash register, even the worker doesn't know what's written in it. Ring comes $20 over there. That's it, done. You pay $20, everybody knows, and it's okay. That's regular transaction, no problem with that. Now, the second types of buying and selling, which is we call it, you buy by payments. Buy payments. And here, buying by payments, because you don't have the money, then you set the payments. You want to buy a car, you don't have the money, $20,000, $30,000, okay, how much you want, $1,000 deposit, then how much is that? But monthly payment. You want to buy a building, you want to buy a house, you want to buy an apartment, it goes to the same thing. 
under this category. This category is what? The price you don't have the money for it. You don't have the money for it, then you want to get the items before you pay all the amount of money. That's what it is, basically. You want to get the items before you pay the whole amount of money. That's the second type of transactions. Here it is. To make it simple, let's take the car as an example. How much this car? You go to the car dealer. He has twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. Type. But I don't have the money. You have twenty thousand dollars. I have twenty thousand dollars. You took the car. That's what we call it. The normal buying and selling. That's normal. But I don't have the money here for this twenty thousand dollars. Okay. Get me your name, your social security, your all that stuff. Then they go to that uh, internet stuff, whatever they go. Okay, mashallah, you have a good credit. Good credit means good names. In Islam, that's valid. It means you are not a thief. If you are a thief, then you're not going to get it. You have a good name, then you are a reliable. In Islam, that's, that's how it is. But here they call it credit and credit card. And this is very nice credit. Three star, four stars, I don't know what it is. However, you're building credit. So you're building reputation in another way. So you're building your reputation, you are not a thief in another way. That's what it is. Okay, alhamdulillah. Then you are approved. We're going to give you the car. Who's going to give you the car? Dealer. Really? No, bank. Thank you very much. Not the dealer. If the dealer, we are fine. And I've done that, by the way. Try to do it with the dealers. They, you go to them, hey. If you follow what I say to you, I'm going to bring you all the Muslims in this area. They'll change their policy. And I changed it in Massachusetts, over there in one of the Chevy dealers. I went to the manager and I said, hey, you're going to say crazy, say crazy. You listen to me to the end, man, what I'm going to say. That's how you sell it, and that's how I want it. He said, but same, it looks same. I said, okay, it looks same for you, it's not same for me. Could you approve it so I could bring you another 1,000 people here to buy? If you are not, then you're not going to get anybody. Simple as it is. Because I'm going to announce it either way. Yes or no. <laughs> he said, yes. Khalas, we twist the rules. He twisted the rules. Don't think they don't twist the rules. You when you bring a big value, they twist the rules. They twist it. You want to make money. You go to that dealer. How much this car? $20,000. Okay, you have a good credit, then we're going to get you the car. You're not, what he did is he went in your name, get the $20,000 from where? From S-Bank. And now that S-Bank, who gave you, he gave the money in your name to the dealer. So he paid the dealer $20,000 in your behalf because you are a good man. You have a very good name. And then this $20,000, it's being paid to whom now? To the dealer? To the bank, MashaAllah. He gave you 20,000 and you end up paying 25,000. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Interest. Is that allowed? Yeah. Haram. You, you get the answer. Not, you, you know the answer. Okay, flip the scenario. The dealer. You go to the dealer. How much this car? 20,000. I don't have the money. Do your calculation. For five years, I want to pay you payments. I did, he did calculation, it came to $25,000. Okay, the new price, man, is $25,000 according to the monthly payment. Do you like to buy it? Yes, I'll buy it. Okay, fine. Is this transaction valid? Yes. Yes. Because there is no other party gave you money and you're giving the money more. You're buying the car with the price. But al-bay'atan fi bay'a haram. If the two transactions is one is prohibited according to every single school of thought. But here, they are not two transactions in one. If he said to you in the agreement, this car is a $20,000 cash. And if it's not paid cash, it will be $25,000 if it's being paid in a monthly payment with that much payment. Now, this is, is not valid because two transactions in one agreement. So all this talks, it will be outside the agreement. How much this car? K 
cash, 20,000. How much this, if I want to pay it in a monthly payment with that much payment? 25,000 as a monthly payment of that much. Okay, wallahi, and I don't have the money. We'll, we'll take it with the $25,000. Is that valid? Valid, because it's one transaction. So they make, I mean one agreement, they make a new agreement, agreement with the price of the car is $20,000. The monthly payment is such and such and such. Akhi, this is my car. And all the schools of thought, they agreed on that because this zamani kustun min al-thamani. The timing, it has to have a price because, or everybody will be, or the businessman, he will be out of business in one day if he is not doing that. So Imagine. Is this the profit? The 5,000 is the profit? It's a profit. It's a profit. He yeah. just want to make the profit more because security for the money, the value for the money gets less after five years, and he want to he wanna flip his profits. He's going to buy other cars. He's going to do the business because it's two different transactions, not one. Okay, this is my car, Akhi. I want to sell it to $20,000 for you. You're paying me a check. Okay, I can't, I don't have them. Okay, I changed my mind, Akhi. This is $25,000. You like it or you don't like it? You like it, then the transactions is on and that's monthly payment. You don't like it, then it's not valid. This is agreed upon it's valid according to every single school of thought. Abu Hanifa, Malik, Shafi, Ahmad, uh, every school of thought, they agreed on that. And that's what we call it al-murabaha, bay' al-murabaha. And that's all the banks in the Muslim world, they do that. They do that. You go buy the cars like this, you go to buy the apartments like this, and the bank, the Islamic bank, they pay, they pay, they buy it, not they pay. See? See the difference between the Islamic bank and the regular bank. What the Islamic bank do? He go buy it. He own it. And he sell it for you. He is not paying you the money and collecting the money and now you paid 100 and you paying him back 150. Now what's that? Interest. Thank you. So we understood the concept in Bay al murabaha Tonight we pay, we understood two things now here. al bayah bil taqsid which is you pay it in a installment. installment with monthly payments which is we call it we understand the murabaha and that's I'm sure you're familiar with this definition somehow even if it's Arabic because that's the definition is being used in the Islamic banks okay follow me when we, after we finish all the types you will you will get the picture more clear the third type which is we call it Salam, so many evidence in the Sharia about a Salam. So many evidence about Bayou Salam from the Quran and from the Sunnah of the Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Taib. Bay'u al-salam. It's bay'u ajilin bi'ajil. How they defined it, the scholars. Bay'u ajilin bi'ajil. Yani here is the opposite. I'll give you the money. And you give me the item later. See, the first is the opposite of the one we talked about just a while ago. The while ago is what? You're getting the items no and you're paying in a monthly payment or you're paying later. Here is the opposite. You're getting the money. I'm getting the money from you, but I'm giving you the item later. later. This is allowed in the Sharia called Bay'u as -salam. Evidence from Quran, from Hadith, so many on that. So it's allowed. And they used to do it at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Bay'u As-Salam. Salam. And most of the transactions in our time under Bay'u As-Salam. Most of the transactions in our time under Bay'u As-Salam. How? I have a big piece of land. 
It's a farming land. It's nice, very good soil. It has source of water. It's a huge, a thousand acres. Has everything, has a river goes through it. Has a very nice, rich soil. And I go to the Islamic bank. I say to them, you know, I'm going to grow dates here. I'm just giving an examples. And I need to buy the seeds to grow, and I need to buy, or it's there, I need to buy uh, uh, tractors, I need to buy Fertilizer. fertilizers, I need to buy all those equipments to, you know, plow the, 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 the soil to grow, I need some labors, I need this, I need this, I need that. I will write a whole entire operation for them. And I'll sell you the date. I will sell you the date. So you own the date. Okay. They gave me the money. And I gave them what? Instead of the money? The dates. But it has to have certain conditions here. Not it has to be the dates from that land. Probably that land banned. That will be not valid. So the transactions is not going to be attached to the land, the transactions is going to be attached to what? To the items they are oh, yes. buying. Are I'm buying from you dates. What types of dates? Dates such and such. You know, the dates has so many different names. That types of dates I'm buying from you. And it has to be given to me in this time. We know the time of the dates when they collect the dates. and At that time, it has to be given to me. And I'm going to buy it on that price. The price it's going to be set here is what? It's going to be set way cheaper than the market price at that time. If the market price, let's say, is $20, it will be set, let's say, $15 for, for the 10 pounds or whatever. What happened here? The farmer who got the money, he has his business running. And he's making money. The bank who gave the money, that's a very big investment. Imagine how much money he is going to make from selling the items when they get it, when he is getting it, because the items is way less than the market. That's according to farming. Buy it. According to, uh, for instance, okay, I'm a big company, big guys, so many millions they have. We're going to open an, a company, let's say transportation. We're buying 100 buses or 1,000 buses. Or we're buying 100 aeroplanes. That gets more, bigger even, the, the amount. Okay, what's your business? Such and such and such and such. That's my business. Here is, they could do it with what? With murabaha. With the murabaha. Okay, we'll buy those materials, who are those items for you. And we sell them for you. And you pay us monthly payment. Now, we're going to the second types of transaction. Is that valid or not? Valid. See, if you're dealing with the, with the Islamic bank, you could, you could change all the types of everything you wanted. It could fit under the Islamic transactions. And there's possibilities for it. So under this type of buying and selling, which is, we call it, Bay'u'l-Salam, you find a lot of the transactions will be, uh, will be valid. A lot of the transactions will be valid. Because of Bayar Salam. Bayar Salam is you gave the money in a, in a front, and on, for instance, building a building. Building a building, and you start selling the apartments before even the building being built. Is that valid or not? It's the same thing. The guy who owned the land, and he, he bought the deposit. And the bank, he will study all that. 
and he will give the money for whom? For the, cons the contractor. The contractor now is from the bank, it's not from that guy. He's dealing with the bank. And the people, they're paying the payments for whom? For that guy, the one who went and he done with the bank. No interest at all. It's all buying and selling. He's just getting the money ahead and giving the materials later. So that's called Bay'ah salam And all of that is valid. I'll, I done my best to try to summarize. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. And I will just, you know what, I'll stop here and I'll take your, your, your questions. Because this is, I mean, it's a lot of material. It takes months to finish all that. Can I ask one question? Again? Sure. When you said if somebody have a 20 karat, 23 karat goal and a 14 karat goal, which we know they have a mixture in it, but it, if the one is exchanging, it has to be exchanged on the weight basis, but one can do the bayah, sell it as a 14 karat goal and buy the 23 karat goal, that is halal. Absolutely. This is what you were trying to explain when the brother was asking. Absolutely. You. And I give the examples with the date. Take, take it on the rest of the stuff. Yes. So everything has to be these six items which you were talking about. Or the one who has the same cause. Of the cause with that. We said so gold and silver, the then the money. Dollar with dollar, you cannot. Rupees right. with rupees, you cannot. It has to be the same. It has to be in the same place and hand to hand. So that is the basis of transaction that either you do weight to weight or you sell it and buy it and that will clarify the account. Absolutely. Through two different transactions, yes. Can I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. This is pertaining to um, a lot of my friends. Unfortunately, I'm not. Raise here. your voice a little bit. This is pertaining to a lot of my friends. I'm not uh, part of it, but if you're buying a house. Uh huh. Uh, Brother, there are sisters in the back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat the question. No, she's yeah. gonna repeat. I don't have a microphone. I'll, I'll repeat the question. Okay. Buying a house, and you have a mortgage that you're paying uh -huh. for, for living somewhere. Okay. So. I don't want to mention the name, but there are companies that, that are saying that Islamic loan you can take from us. Mm. And later on you find out that these companies are actually getting it from Fannie Mae and other, other uh, non-authorized. It's not, maybe the banks that you're referring to in, in the Middle Eastern country, they're rich enough to buy the uh, building or buy the house. Of course, they are. But over here, when we are trying to get Islamic loan to purchase a, a house to live in, we're finding that they have they're tied with Fannie Mae and other other uh, places, and Fine money goes to and money is Fannie. really not their own. So what do we do in that instance? You can repeat the question for the benefit of the question. The question is here is and uh, I'm going to add to it some other things because there's a Mickey Mouse fatwa. I call it a Mickey Mouse fatwa. Mickey Mouse, okay. <clears throat> there is some fatwa came in the house you are living in. It's okay to buy it with interest. There is some types of fatwa came. I don't know if you heard about that or very not. Strongly huh? Very strongly, I hear it. We hear it very strongly. Yeah, oh, very strongly, of course, because it's a devil behind it. <clears throat> house you living in, or house you don't living in. Could you tell me what's the difference? Same thing. Like you are as a common person. Forget as a scholars or students of knowledge. A house you are living in, or a house you are not living in. It's like I'm giving you. If I give you pork, you could eat it yourself, but, but you cannot serve it to your brothers. If that makes sense. <coughs> pork is pork. Haram is haram. You bought it for yourself or for your neighbor. You bought one for yourself and one to, to have a business. The first one is halal, the second one is haram. I don't understand from where they get from these rules. What rule, from where they ruled, from where they derived. This rule, I don't understand from where. Haram is haram, akhi, and halal is halal. There is nothing such a thing, haram with two faces, and halal with two faces. Now, the second part of the question is, we have a company comes and it says, I'm going to buy you the house, and you pay me the money as a monthly payment. No, 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 you're going to be cleared here. So this is two different things. As a rent, and now the rent became, it's like a lease here. Lease for option to buy. It's similar to that. Then that's valid. Lease, option to buy, but they have to have two different transactions, not in one. Bay'atain fi bay'a la Two transactions in one is not valid according to every single...